We're back in the studio today, and we're going to be trying a deck that I don't think is going to go super well, but we're going to do it anyway. Hey everybody, Nick from Nine Card TCG, and today we're playing a deck that I I don't expect to do very well, but someone in the comments asked in a previous video, why haven't I done Single Strike Slow King yet? So here we are. So the main focus of the deck is Galarian Slow King V Max, 320 Dark type Pokemon, single strike, and it has the one and only attack, no ability, max Toxify, which does 10 damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. You put 12 damage counters on instead of one during Pokemon checkup. And you know, you're it's two energy, you're doing 130 damage and then you'll do an additional 120 damage the following like, in between turns so it's not great right it takes two turns for you to do uh 100 and uh 250 damage so it takes two turns to knock out a pokemon v and that's assuming that your opponent doesn't either evolve or switch out of the active or if it's a v max or a pokemon that doesn't evolve just switch out of the active and now they're not poisoned anymore so it's not a great archetype for a decks that rely on poison so we have a couple of things to try to make it a little harder on our opponent we are of course running urshifu v and urshifu v max for fighting type coverage and we have houndoom to accelerate those energies now what makes this i think a little bit better or at least i hope it's going to be a little better is that we are pairing this with galar mine and the retreat costs of the opponents of both at the pokemon actually are now two colorless more so we're playing a pretty high switch count we're playing uh four switches and an air balloon right because we want to keep our opponent's pokemon in the active while cycling through hours and what we want to do is discard our energies using cheryl so that we can heal and stay in the active longer to continue to poison our Pokemon. But you're like, Nick, Cheryl, discard your energy. I'm sorry that there is um, a siren in the background. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Uh, you discard your energy with Cheryl. Yeah, sure. But we have Earner Vitality to get those energies back into the deck and then accelerate them again with Houndoom. So, yeah, we're discarding the energies to Cheryl, but at the same time, it's fine because it's only a two energy attack. And we have a bunch of things like hiding energy where we don't have a retreat cost for our dark type Pokemon. We're running capture energy to help set up our Hound Doors early game. And uh, and also other slow kings so that we can kind of cycle through them if needed so that we can be tankier and a little bulkier. And of course our single strike energy. The rest of the deck is uh, similar to everything else, we do have two copies of Piers, which lets us search a deck for an energy card and a dark type Pokemon, whatever dark type we want. So it's a really good supporter to play in dark types. You'll see it a lot going forward with single strike decks when er uh, when Umbreon comes out with Evolving Skies later this month. So uh, that's pretty much the deck. I have not played one ounce of this, so let's see how it goes. If you're brand new to the channel, first off, thank you very much for clicking on it and giving it a chance. I really appreciate it. If you want to help out the channel, if you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss another video. And hitting the like button, if we can get this video to 20, maybe even 50 likes, that tells YouTube that this is the kind of video that other people should be seeing, and it really helps the channel out, so I appreciate it. We do start with the Slow King, which is pretty good, and we have a Quick Ball and a Capture Energy. We're playing Eternatus. Not super ideal because they're so aggressive. So we are going to capture energy. We'll get a hound door. And we'll quick ball away this V Max, I guess. We don't really need the V Max. Um, we don't have any other draw cards. So I think we're going to get a Crobat. Kind of for next turn. And uh, we'll just concoction, we'll get rid of, we can get rid of the VMAX because I have an Evolution Incense. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that because I should have used the Evolution Incense for a Houndoom. That was stupid. Well, this is, ah, uh, that was such a mistake. That was such a misplay. But we'll be able to gather mine, and we can, I don't know, I guess, 
I guess we can Word of Doom, Word of Ruin, whatever, at the end of your opponent's next turn to defend the Pokemon is knocked out. So they'll have to retreat that Pokemon if they don't want it to get knocked out, which is interesting. Um, if they don't VMAX and, oh, no, we can't Gallo Mine. So they, they could VMAX and that would be a huge problem. There's the VMAX. Honestly, not looking super good. And that's one of the problems with Eternatus. And it's the same kind of problem with Ice Rider, which both decks pretty popular, is that they, uh, they're they just very aggressive turn two type of decks. So we're going to Evolution and Sense. We're going to get the Houndoom. And uh, unfortunately, I don't want to Crobat for two, and I don't want to boss anything else up. They whiffed the energy attachment, which is pretty ideal. Um, hmm. So, I'm just going to Word of Ruin. Now they either have to retreat this Pokemon, which has a retreat cost of three, so they have to have a switch and another switch to get it back into the active uh, and then also be able to get the energy because they can't attach it and retreat into a different Pokemon because they're going to lose their energy and it seems like they're already struggling with it at least a little bit so that's kind of why I decided the Word of Ruin uh, we can capture energy next turn I guess and to get an Urshifu I would really like to get an Urshifu on the field so I can capture energy to it and then get into the Houndor, but, you know. So they can take the knockout on this, but then they're going to get knocked out. Okay, so they have one switch. And they have free retreat with the Yvetel. That's very unfortunate. We're going to earn just to get it out of the discard pile, I guess, so we can Crobat for three. We get a Piers. Piers is pretty good. I can't get a Dark-type Pokemon. Uh, I mean, I can't get my Urshifu with it, but I can get a Houndor down. I guess I'm just gonna get rid of this boss. I, I didn't even see the. Qu I'm not not even paying attention to what I'm doing. I don't have any more hound doors, so we are going to single strike roar onto this, and I'm gonna retreat into my hound door. They pro. I mean, they probably have a boss, right? Like they have to have a boss. If they have a boss, this is game over. Jerry, quiet down. So they can quick ball to thin to research. I mean, if they research, they won't be able to. To I mean, they could scoop up net. I guess get the zigzagoon back. They're gonna calm away. See, and this is where Umbreon V Max would really help Eternatus because then you could still research and look for um, another, whatever it's called, another Umbreon VMAX to gust up something, and then you can still research, you can still do whatever you need to do. And Umbreon, while it's not going to be attacking much in, in Eternatus, because you have a two energy cost attacker with Eternatus VMAX that can hit for 270, uh, and Umbreon's a three energy cost that's only going to hit for 160, you're really just using it to gust and then be able to dig deeper in your deck so you, to make sure you don't whiff that energy attachment. I really don't know why they don't play peers. Uh, maybe with Umbreon they will, just to be able to search for an energy and an Umbreon to guarantee energy and gust. 
could it could happen could be a thing uh i i really don't think i've seen a turn in this play peers yet they're just gonna go for the knockout so and it's unfortunate because our one v max i did discard so um we're gonna just attach and we'll single strike roar i guess And we're just going to impact low. So we'll take three prizes. The draw would be a research is good. I was considering doing a 2-2 two -two, uh, Urshifu V and V Max. Because if you do discard your V Max or if it's prized and you're kind of stuck in matchups like this. And it's exactly the lineup that I have in the Umbreon deck that I'm building or will build as soon as it's available is to have three Umbreon V, V Max, and then two Urshifu V and V Max because I think that's a good ratio. Uh, they can now use uh, Dire Flame Wings, Dire Flame Wings, and then Energy Switch if they have. But basically, they just need one Energy to, to you know... Oh, never mind. They are going to get the Weavile, so they don't need to get the energy because they can just move it over from uh, the Moltres over here onto the... And that's going to be game. It's going to be... I mean, no, they got another Moltres. I thought they were going to come for the Weavile. Is it prized? Um. Hmm. If I boss, then I can't impact blow. And I, if I research, I can't. I can't um, boss. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, and I can only retreat. I, in theory, I could attach energies. Ah oh, man. Uh, I don't. I don't. Of course, there. Of course, I my four switches. I have four. There they are. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's it. I'm going to force them to either take the knockout on this or. Yeah. Oh, God. Is that both of my bosses, too? Yes, it is. Marnie, I don't really mind too much because I have an air balloon. They can't boss. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I only run two bosses, so. And they're going to concede. Interesting. We talked about that in previous videos that it's you don't want to scoop prematurely unless you know without a doubt that you are going to lose. And I don't think there was a doubt in their mind that they were going to win or lose. Like, they weren't sure, and but they gave it to me because I guess they assumed I had boss or something. This isn't terrible. This isn't terrible. Because we can capture energy. We got a Zacian on the bench, though. On, on the active. So, this could be ADP. I'm not going to play optimally. I'm going to play the deck, right? The deck wants you to... Uh, I'm going to save that quick ball. The deck wants you to play Slow King. I'm going to show why you don't play Slow King. 
Uh, yes, could I have gotten the Urshifu? Yeah, maybe. That might. That's that was the better choice in my mind. But we're we're gonna we're gonna play the deck. We're gonna we're gonna see why I don't really like Slow King or decks that are revolving around poison. We got a Marnie, which is a little unfortunate. We had a pretty good hand. Uh, we definitely could have got off Max Toxify next turn. Okay. Okay. You got plenty of draw options. So we're going to Evolution Incense. We're not going to Evolution Incense for the Hound Doom. Because I have more options of drawing the Hound Doom. We are going to just show the Urshifu just to like. Because now if I can get a Hound Doom, I have a one retreat cost versus a two retreat cost. Then we can play Piers. That's fine, I think. And we'll get an energy. We'll get a hiding dark, I guess. Because now I can retreat for one and evolve. Instead of evolving the active, uh, and now my retreat cost is two. So that's one of the things that you kind of have to be aware of when you're, especially when you're playing single strike or really any deck, is that you do not want to evolve your um, your Hound Door when it's in the active because it's it's going to go up by one uh, the, the retreat cost. So retreat when you can and then evolve unless you have like an Air Balloon or the active, and they're gonna immediately concede because they have nothing, I guess, to get that out of the active. Um, or they would man. Okay, uh, okay, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Am I? Am I? Am I wrong, Jerry? Am I wrong? He didn't. He, I said his name. He didn't even budge. Maybe I'm wrong, but we're gonna play one more game and we'll see how it goes. If you are brand new to the Pokemon trading card game and you want to learn how to play just a little bit better, I do have a Discord to help uh, new players, especially learn how to play the game. And on top of that, I have a bunch of videos talking about how to play Pokemon trading card games, so you should go check those out. This is not a great hand. Not a big fan. Uh, we have virtually no way to get these boss's orders out of the hand unless our opponent plays something on the bench. Mewtwo here is weak to Psychic, not weak to Dark. So, it actually would be all right. A, a Mewtwo ADP. Oh, God. He has the water. Yeah, I, I already do not like this. But, if Mewtwo is weak to dark, or you have, a, like, Shadow Rider Calyrex, for example, if you get one, or let's say you get two single strike energies onto your uh, Max Toxify, well, Max Toxify does 10, plus 40 from the two single strike energies, so that's 50. This is going to be a heads. It just will. No, thank God. Um, so that's 50, but they take weakness, so that's 100. And then the 120 damage they take is 220, enough to knock out Shadow Rider Calyrex in one go. So I'm going to boss up their thing there. Catch a hide and dark energy, and I guess we'll crowbat for three because I have no other choice. Well, quick ball. We'll get a one of the hound dooms. And we're gonna board the ruin. Their retreat cost is five. So Air Balloon still doesn't help them, because that would still leave it a three. And they have to have a switch. We run a high switch count ourselves, so. And we're gonna take three prizes if they can't get this out of the active. Kind of force them to go through their resources. Uh, of course they draw the switch.
and we'll attach it to here. And now we're living off single, we're living off top decks. Because all I got is an urn. Uh, if they can have crushing hammer, one of the things off, it's fine. I wonder how many, there you go. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, you, you can't keep your opponent's active Pokemon in the active spot because they are just going to Bird Keeper. They have a bunch of switches. There's uh, escape ropes and there's uh, uh, Mal and Lana at the moment and there's just nothing you can do about it. So you're stuck. I'm really surprised they didn't attach to the Zacian. Because their altered ray is going to do 180, which will leave them with 40 damage, 40 health. Oh, but they can Pokemon catch of this, and if they get it, yeah, okay, they win. Just exactly enough. I mean, it didn't really matter because they still would have had next turn to knock me out before Word of Ruin took effect. So it would not make a difference if it was a two-hit KO or not. Overall, not really a fan of the deck. It could work. Yeah, we got a couple of wins with it, but I... The first win, they just kind of conceded because they because of the Urshifu. It had nothing to do with the Slow Kings. It was solely because of the Urshifu and they were weak to it. And the second game, I they either drew bad or we just got an extremely good start. But you can't expect that in every game. And you have... N if you can't keep your opponent's active Pokemon in the active spot, then Word of Ruin doesn't work. The poison doesn't really matter. Yeah, the poison will eventually build up. We didn't really get to show off kind of the switching with Galarmine and using Cheryl to keep our Pokemon. Like, it just doesn't work because your opponent has too many switch options. So And and Pokemon do so much damage that you know, you're wasting your turn using a supporter for like Cheryl just to put damage back on with uh, single strike roar so it's not a perfect strategy maybe there's a different way of using it that works a little bit better I'm not a huge fan of the deck maybe you know and maybe maybe I'm playing it wrong right maybe there's a more like I said there's a better list maybe there's a better strategy that I just don't know about I'm not a big fan of status condition decks this is not the first time we've done it we played a Vika Volt V kind of meme item lock deck and we also played a uh, Butterfree VMAX deck that uses status conditions like poison and confusion and all kind of stuff to bother our opponent. Neither of them really worked very well and the same goes for this. So if you are looking to play single strike then the best option is to just wait for Umbreon in a couple of weeks and you can build an Umbreon Urshifu deck and that or Umbreon Tornadus VMAX deck and those are going to be your single strike decks. Definitely not this at least not to me anyway but feel free to prove me wrong let me know in the comments below what you think of the video what you think of the deck do you have any or have you had success playing things like slow king i'm sure some people have so i want to hear from you uh like i said before leaving a like especially hitting the like button commenting sharing this video with other people is the best way to tell youtube that this is a good video and other people should watch it and it helps the channel grow helps me out tremendously like i said we have a link to the discord in the video description so if you want to learn how to play pokemon the trading card game just a little bit better or you have some questions deck advice all that kind of stuff definitely join the discord and we got a small but growing community ready and willing to help and uh, i have social media i use twitter once in a while i don't use instagram as much but i use twitter and so you can catch up with me there as well but that is going to do it for us today thank you so much and i'll see you next time